wishing I could be where you are Got me out here looking crazy Feeling like you played me Never thought that we could ever be this far We drifted planets away Who's telling you not to stay? I'm flashing back memories I wish these thoughts could erase But they're so hard to replace Because I miss you And now I'm drifting into this Retrogressive motion You keep me, keep me, keep me Back to this illusion I can't escape Make some noise for Jayla Day. All right. So, retrograde. Anybody know what that means? No? So, retrograde, 
I'm going to not be a nerd tonight, and I'm going to just make it short, okay? But basically, you know, you have a solar system, right? And the sun is in the middle. My man knows. He's like, yeah. The sun is in the middle, right? And you got other planets, and, and we, we go around the earth at different rates, right? And so there's a point where when you look at the planets, they look like they're going this way, and then it wraps around the sun the other way, and now it looks like it's going backwards. They call that retrograde, right? Because to us, it just looks like everything is going backwards. And so there's some superstitions with that, some superstitious stuff. I don't really subscribe to all of that, but most people just think, oh, when we're in retrograde, it's like the, the world just flipped upside down and crazy things are happening, right? But it's a cycle. It's something that keeps happening over and over. This song is about being stuck in a cycle, right? And you're stuck in this cycle with this person that's a toxic, it's a toxic relationship to you, right? And you're just stuck and you keep going back to this person. It's like, man, I'm just, I, I keep getting in retrograde because we can't go anywhere. Like there's nothing here, there's nothing here. And the only thing that's keeping us together is sex and lustful desires. That's the only thing that we can, that we can say that is con keeping us connected, which we know that's not, that's not a good thing, right? I mean, that's something that should only be shared with your spouse and obviously we're not. But I had a thought one day and I thought, you know, I joke around with my friends all the time. Like, it's, it's really funny if you're married and you do Christian music and you make a song about, about sex, you know? Like, all right, it's cool because y'all married, right? That's cool. But you don't hear single people talking about it, right? Not in music anyway. And so this was something that was very real to a lot of people, right? That you get stuck in this cycle, in this lustful relationship. That's the only thing that's, that is driven by. And it, that may not even be your thing. It could be other things that you're connected to and you're in this cycle. But sin is the only thing because it feels so good, you keep going back to it. It's the only thing that's keeping you connected to it. And so that's what this was about, being stuck in retrograde. And sometimes some other force has to come in and say, you know, we're going to cut all that. We're going to cut this cycle. We're going to cut all this off. We're going to move past this, right? So that's what, that's what that song is about. Um, again, this whole album is talking about topics that we don't normally hear in Christian music, right? And I wanted to reach into the depths of my own, my own testimony and things that I've dealt with um, and, and just go, go down into the depths and say, look, let's put all of this on blast. I'm gonna put myself on blast, my whole story on blast for y'all. I did that for y'all, so make some noise for yourselves. But yeah, I want to do something. I want to do something um, just because I think it would be fun to like, you know, do something different. Anybody have a question about that song? Anybody have a question? Anybody? Who is it about? Wow. Well, I'm definitely not going to put names out there, but um, not, not giving a lot of details, but I was definitely in a, but I'm getting all hot more hot than I was before. Um, you got me, that was a good one. So, this song was about a past relationship that I was in. Uh, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say a few exes ago. Hey, you, you trying to be messy, that's not, that's not cool, that's not funny. Nah. <laughs> but a few exes ago, all right? And it was like, it doesn't matter how long, it, how much time was in between the time that we talked, right? It didn't matter. We could go uh, months without talking, a year without talking, it didn't matter, right? Every time, Every time something would happen, right, and usually it stemmed from our own depression and loneliness and it's like, hey, big head, you know, that type of stuff, right? You know, and every time I would get a, y'all acting like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all know about the hey, big head. Thank you. You don't know what I'm talking about. You, know, you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> but, but, you know, you get that text, right? You get that text from an ex, you know, and uh, that was wrong. I should put that in the, in the remix. You get a text from the ex and it's like, all right, let me go back to this and explore and see Maybe there, was, maybe there was something different this time, right? Maybe, I mean, you know, may, maybe uh, things are different now. You know, we're doing different things in our career. We, we, we've grown as people. Our personalities have possibly changed. Let's try this again. And it never worked. But one thing always worked, and that was it. I'm not going to say it again, but y'all know what I meant. And that was the only thing that was keeping, keeping that connection. And so I had to eventually just say, you know what, forget it blocking you on everything, all the text messages, social media, email, I had to put it in my spam, fam, because, you know, she would send me an email. So I had to put it in my spam, like, look, I got to cut it all the way off. Everything in my life that was holding me back from fulfilling God's purpose, I had to cut it off. 
and it's hard, it's a struggle, right? I'm, I'm not saying this as, this is something I did in the past before I got saved. I did most of my dirt after I got saved, right? Just being honest with you. So this is a, this is a Christian man, this is how a single Christian man has to navigate through this world full of temptation. Eventually we just have to say, you know what? I gotta shut everything off. I gotta cut this person off. I gotta, oh, this was a maybe. Well, we never really went there, but I still gotta, there was potential, so I gotta cut that off. And I gotta just put myself alone, alone with the moon right? Put myself alone and say, you know what, God, it's just me and you for a season. And so that's what the song is about. Eventually get into the point where you cut that cycle. See, I'll make some noise for retrograde. I love you too. All right. <laughs> 